interesting thing happened in this backyard. This is a typical backyard in the United States of America, but it's not really typical. It's had some very strange things happen. One night I was um, had this urging to take a picture of the moon with the trees. It was just at dusk. And when I got the picture downloaded on the computer, this is what I found. A picture with all kinds of spirit and angel orbs all around in front of this giant tree that's out here. This tree later ended up being hit by lightning. The second miracle I had happen in this yard with this same tree in the background from the previous picture was a year and a half later I heard a storm coming and I said a prayer that God would please protect my home and if any trees had to fall in this yard let them fall away from my house and let them fall over my fence behind me and not even break a fence board. Well, this huge tree, which was 75 feet before, is now not much left of it. It was struck by lightning. Lightning went down the middle of it, exploded from the inside out. The bark flew all the way from the backyard, front yard. And here's a picture of what it looked like right after it was struck by lightning. If you'll notice in the picture, there's a triangle here. And in the middle of the triangle coming up is a huge arrow pointing at the sky. I feel this was a visual reminder from God that he let me know that I was protected from that storm that night and he wanted to make sure he got credit for it. That's why he has an arrow pointing up to heaven, claiming that he protected me that night and his guardian angels. It was truly a wonderful miracle. I had an interesting morning. I woke up one morning and had this urging to go back to bed and pray. I heeded that urging because it was very strong on my head and I crawled back in bed and the message was pray immediately for the safety of your family and your home. I did this and a giant crash occurred over me and I come outside to find out that a huge tree, 75 foot tree, had fallen on my deck behind me and part of it through my roof. I took some pictures for the insurance and I was standing right in front of me and in the picture there was fingers of light. As you can see in this picture, fingers of light wrapped around this door frame and this big bright light of an angel and a whole bunch of angel orbs. Some of them were blue and some of them were white in the picture. This is really truly a wonderful miracle to be able to witness and have a visual picture of angels that protected my home that day. After a tree fell on my house and this deck at 9.30 in the morning, I took some pictures for the insurance. On this roof right here was in the picture a bright light letting, letting me know that there was actually an angel sitting in my roof right over where I was praying. Right here was exactly the roof over where I was praying in my bed for protection for my house. And God protected me from getting hit by the tree and my house. I think this is a really awesome testament and a wonderful miracle shown to me in this picture. Another unbelievable miraculous story is a premonition dream I had prior to 9-11. I witnessed all the events of 9-11 and I ended up writing a story in my book which you can read and I also did this painting that was revealed to me in my dream by God that he asked me to do this painting and I ended up sending it to President George W. Bush I had a premonition dream uh, about a real event that happened in Louisiana that had to do with a local author, Ann Butler. She was sitting on her back porch uh, serving coffee to her ex-husband and he decided to take a gun out and shoot her several times. In my dream, I saw this happen and I asked God that he would have angels on either side of her holding, holding her up and helping her through this ordeal. Later in life, I got to meet Ann Butler and realized that what happened in my dream did happen in her real life and confirmed to me this miracle. And I did this painting for her. This is Ann Butler being held in the arms of angels. You can read about these stories and more interesting stories of faith and miracle encounters in my new book titled Living in the Realm of Miracles and Angel Encounters. It will be available at Amazon.com, Exebris.com, and your local bookstore.